some rain showers and this is all due to an area of low pressure that's still situated nearby the region and rainfall totals as of eight o'clock this morning range from about a tenth of an inch to just over an inch. We have 16 hundreds in Lansing, just under an inch in Charlotte and just over an inch of rain has fallen so far in Jackson. So you can certainly tell where the moderate to heavier bands of rain have been basically training across. So nonetheless, on satellite and radar, pockets of heavier rainfall extending from Ingham County just onto the south and east or through Charlotte. You're seeing some more moderate to heavy rainfall as well as the slow continues to turn rain showers across the region. This is going to be with us throughout the day today. It is currently 59 in Lansing and Charlotte 59 also in Jackson and Hillsdale maintaining a northeasterly breeze and this is going to be with us as we go throughout the day today. Right now it's between about 5 and 15 miles per hour, but the wind speeds will be cranking up the sustained about 10 to 20 with gusts upwards to about 25 through the 10 o'clock hour. Temperatures will moderate right around the upper 50s, lower 60s by lunchtime, so you can and certainly tell our temperatures really don't move a whole lot as we go throughout the day. We're only expecting high temperatures right near 64 degrees this afternoon. So all the shower activity that we've been seeing for the past couple of days is due to an area of low pressure just sitting here and spinning this shower activity across the region and they're actually moving from the east to the west and this is what we have for a 10 o'clock hour. Some light rain showers and we could see pockets of moderate to heavy rainfall and then we should be on the lighter side of things as we approach the afternoon hours becoming more scattered about the region, but it will also be breezy for us, especially as, as we go into the afternoon. The winds should diminish as we head into tonight, but still mostly out of the northeast and scattered shower chances will continue into tonight as overnight lows fall into the upper 50s. As we go throughout the day on Wednesday, much of the th same thing that we've been seeing for the past couple of days stuck under the cloud cover, so expect mostly cloudy skies and dodging some scattered shower activity, so it certainly does not look look like Friday will be a washout, but if you're heading to any Friday night football games, you'll certainly want to take the rain gear because a few showers will be around the region, yet some folks will be dry. As we head into Saturday, we're keeping that theme going. Cloud cover and scattered showers. Temperatures, though, will be slightly warmer than Friday. Looks like we return back into the, about the mid 60s. So 64 for today, some scattered showers and breezy conditions. Continuing shower chances into tonight. As overnight lows fall right near 58 degrees, lower 60s for highs on Friday, scattered showers, continuing scattered shower chances through the weekend. And again, keep in mind this activity, especially for this weekend, is going to be very hit and miss. So it certainly does not look like it's going to be a washout. And that low that's been churning nearby will finally ship out towards the east.